Here we have Avalanche symbol AVAX versus the dollar. And we have a really good question here from Aqua Netta, who is saying, I like this one, but I was very confused why it no go down yesterday. Well, why it no go down yesterday? That's a great, way, great way to posit your question. Of which, um, the best answer for that is just a simple fact that it's relatively strong, as it has been for a long time here. This one is one of those charts that just seems to go up into the right, which is well, what we, what you typically want if you are going to be long in an asset for a long time. And with yesterday in mind, which if you're not aware of or you're viewing this video at a later date, um, what did we have? Well, we saw a pretty nasty downside move in Bitcoin over the course of the last um, week or so. We've actually seen about $10,000 down from 69 to 59, essentially. And uh, while AVEX has played out some downside moves alongside that, people are using that to accumulate, essentially, as you can see right here on this massive look down to our low $80 range, which we did uh, have um, uh, as a, uh, you know, as kind of a bouncy area from yesterday. Well, the bounce is not just a bounce. This is this is, this is looking like it's going to shape us uh, up as continuation right here. Anyways, I'm curious to see if we have any sort of major concerning things for the daily right now. We would have uh, we would have bearish evidence. We do confirm a local high right here, but a local high is not going to be confirmed uh, by any stretch of the imagination as long as you're closing above, especially ninety dollars. So as long as that condition is met, this one's actually still long term bullish, man. Uh, nothing too wrong with this chart, to be fair. Weekly, same thing. Uh, no major issues with this one. Um, you know, again, if, if we do start to take out like $90 on a closure, then yeah, we will have some bearish evidence, but not until then. Five day close yesterday as well. And the close and five day close on new highs, Cl five day close on new all time highs. So this would be one of the strong ones. So I also want to uh, kind of swing this into an earlier comment where someone was saying, I need to buy the dip on. Uh, ripple um, be, to make up for my losses from, I guess, like the day prior. Well, you want to be picking the ones that were relatively strong during an event like that because they're the ones that are most likely to do even better when, if and when Bitcoin, you know, the major sort sort of Boris for um, for cryptocurrency land turns around. The, the the old saying that my mentor taught me was the strong get stronger and the weak get weaker. This one is strong. It's very much relatively strong. And uh, and when the market, if and when the market does turn around, which I do think that we're kind of setting up for a bounce right now, I expect this one to be one of the bigger beneficiaries of that avalanche is just is just good it's just fucking good right here i mean look at the monthly man there it's just a fucking melt it's just a melt baby anyways let's go into the lower term time from mental also doesn't see if they're supportive of this uh, as well and and if they also align with that 90 dollars pain point uh four hour stokes turned down below 88 and a half okay um we're currently trading about uh, six bucks above there or seven bucks above there hourly turn back up above 97 uh in a quarter Okay, buy hourly will turn down below 100 and a half. And daily, what do we see? Turn down freshly below 94 and a half. 12 hour also will turn down or remain down below 97 and a half. We actually see a, a big split right there, which is. Uh, which likely aligns with some rangy with, with some rangy price action right here. If you're if you're on the short term time frames, what does that look like? Yeah, uh, let's actually just rechart this specifically for the short term time frames. That'd be between about 100 bucks to the upside versus, again, it's not necessarily 90 bucks to the downside. It's more like 88 and a half. But as long as you're also in between there, it is a bullish setup long term. And it is implied in, 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 in the probabilities of it are, you know, being resolved to the upside are higher. However, if you do break below 88 uh, and a half or 89 on a four hour closure, I would be looking for another run at yesterday's wick low. That's going to be your 82 to 83 dollars region. Very likely another bounce right there. And then this one would start to look more bearish, you know, over the higher term timeframes obviously but until then i think it is sideways at best here you know we do see that all pretty much lower term timeframes and, and the higher term timeframes are not in concert with each other which to me says consolidation uh, before anything else and if you start to break to the downside at that point, I'd be looking for it to join the rest of the market. But until then, you know, one of the more stronger ones, I wouldn't necessarily get excited about this thing as long as you're below $100. Above $100, I still have the same targets that we've been having for, I guess, ever since we got into this range, which are much further higher. In fact, let's actually see where they're at right now because they would still be relevant again on an actual break of that and let's see oh what do you know we actually are kind of playing between the 618 on this extension right here and uh and the one spot 272 actually on a closing basis anyways long term you know on a break of 100 dollars i'd be looking towards a buck 20 to a buck 30 ish region um it looked pretty damn good so for right now i do think that it is sideways at best uh but if you do see bitcoin bounce and if you see bitcoin actually well if it, especially if it reversed uh then this thing is probably gonna be one of the better ones um in my opinion until then though i probably wouldn't get too excited about it uh again until we actually do break above 100 bucks probably sideways at best to be to be quite uh, to be quite frank hopefully that was helpful and there you go for avalanche